Hello guys, good morning, good morning, it's me again, Ryan, and I'm back with a technical difficulty. I've been having some problems with my shortcuts. Yeah, uh, it was weird because I had a one-on-one -on -one session with a student uh, last Saturday. Um, I was changing some of the, some of my hotkeys and wow, I was, yeah, I didn't even get out here, as you can see, so... Yeah, my plan was too long a breakout here at 249. I didn't get out. I was trying to take profit here, I didn't get take profit, and I was gonna do a break even trade because this was a chase. Uh, see, I didn't get out. Finally, it went there. Um, I got a good move. I stopped out manually. Yeah, this was a manual stop. And then I changed my hotkey again. Um, yeah, th that was working now on the second trade, so that was short. Um, what else? Yeah, it's stretching me out until now. Um, yeah, it happens when you change something and then you kind of forgot to put it back. And then I shorted it here again at 249s um, because I'm I'm feeling that it was actually not long. Uh, there was a heavy, heavy seller around this area here. I felt that uh, this 249, even here, I felt it here. I was going to get out here for a loss, but yeah, I. Yeah, a good thing I clicked the X. I did not stop, and then it recovered. I thought I'm just gonna be red for the day, and hold it. Look at look what happened here. Good thing I'm glad I just manually. Um, but my my partial was working. It's just my break even was not working. Um, my hockey was different. Um, I'm I think probably because I gave him a um, a sim hotkey for DAS. And it's not going to work for IB IB DAS hotkey because they have different um, type of. Um, I'll show you. They have different type of hotkey here. One sec. It's for um, for level two. For you to be able to have the hotkey working for IB DAS, it should be Smart L or Smart M. Smart L, well, you don't see it. Oh, yeah. Here, as you can see here, one sec. Ah, uh, see, the hotkeys are not working again. Yeah, so it's here, limit. Yeah, so it's back again to the hotkey. Ah, uh, one sec. I was showing him the hotkey. So, yeah, I was showing him the hotkey, and um, that was for SIM hotkey. Uh, as you can see here, it shows limit, right? Uh, not sure if you can see it here. Oh, no, you can't. So you can see you can, it shows limit when I'm show, when I'm using the hotkey uh, for SIM, and that won't work for IB DAS. Uh, you have to be using the proper hotkey, which is the smart limit. Uh, that's the limit order for um, limit order for this Tesla. Yeah, and smart M for market order. Yeah, I had to change the hotkey again back, and I uh, yeah I was trading using i think i was trading using the sim das and i didn't realize that until i checked my hotkey it's using the das hotkey the sim das hotkey, hotkey that's a good good long there 246 yeah I, I can't focus right now um okay so i shorted i have levels from friday uh, this blue line here this two blue line this was a significant level from friday um it's still the same but uh, I felt like I have to short 249. That's what I did here. Yeah, so this was a, a small loss. Okay, so half a loss. Uh, and then I gained it back on this one here. So this was the trade. So this was a short. And then this one again was a hotkey. So I was out. By mistake, my average cost was all out. I don't know why. Um, yeah, I think probably because the hotkey is back. Because I restarted my machine here. It has so many technical difficulties. My, my machine froze as well. Uh, I said that I shouldn't be trading today. I felt that, but I forced myself to trade. I feel like I'm, I'm just complaining in in, uh, <laughs> in this recap. So uh, sorry about that. So actually, I don't know. I don't know what to do anymore. Um, I'll fix my hotkey right now after this recap. But this was a good trade. So what I did was a, a, a this was a long, 
So this was a stop at break even, but this was a manual stop, or maybe not, I can't remember. And then I shorted it here, a little bit of a loss, and then I reshorted it again, higher number, and then it took profit at 50 cents, around 50 cents, and then I got the good move that I want. So that was, I recovered a little bit of the loss plus the profit. So that was a good one. And then this was a hot key mistake. Uh, yeah, hot key mistake to get out. I should be holding some of my shares. So that, that was still, still a good share. Uh, as you can see, I held a good move here. Um, I wasn't taking profit because I need to gain, gain back a little bit of the profit uh, that I gave back here. Um, uh, see, there's there's a seller definitely around below around this area, um, lower lower highs, lower highs. Um, but if it pushed through to two forty eight, then it's probably gonna go to two fifty. Yeah, that's probably lower lows as well as you can see. But this is probably just a uh, you know preparation for another ice to two fifty two again. If you know if it maintains this two forty six area, uh, it looks like it's breaking the uh, the trend line now. Uh, let's see what happens. This could be a trap uh, for two seven two forty seven fifty. This could be a trap. Uh, if not, if if they win, then it's gonna go to two forty eight to two fifty. Yeah. But yeah, so so that was short. So this was the short, and then I took it long when I accidentally took the just accidentally took the position out. I waited for a good long. Um, I was patient enough to wait i wanted this 246 but yeah they didn't show me so when it during the candle the way the way i enter i i wait for it like if i'm going to risk the low day i need to wait for this candle to show up the white one or green for you probably and then i uh, see that that was actually a good move this was a good move this could have been a really nice trade as well because this was a more than a dollar move uh but i still risk a dollar for this trade but this could have been nice but this was a all out, yeah. This was an all out uh, hotkey problem, uh, but yeah. So that was was painful, but it's fine. Uh, today, just a clean, clean small trades, even though with hotkey problems and lagging. My my actually my my desk actually froze. I had to restart my machine while in the trade here at this area here. Good thing the trade was on on my side. If not, I'm going to have to stop out using my phone. Uh, yeah, so that's about it. Nothing really fancy yesterday or not, not yesterday. Friday, I didn't make a trade uh, because uh, I just didn't have time. But let's look. I can't really, really, really remember what I did last Friday. I think I sculpted, I sculpted uh, this area here to 252. I think that's what I did. And then over trading it a bit here. And then finally got a good move. So I have a level somewhere at 252 in my Finvis. You'll see it there. Um, let's look at Finvis. Oh, I have my Finvis closed because I restarted my machine. Oh, well, this is the day. Oh, there you go. So as you can see here, yeah, so it kind of broke that level there. Uh, let's see what happens. 248 if it's gonna hold so it broke this lower highs here now yeah uh so yeah it's gonna probably go back to 250. all right that was it and have a good day and thank you for watching i'm sorry uh, my recap today was a little bit of a mess but yeah uh see you guys tomorrow hopefully